Purdy would clock in 1.2 million followers on Instagram, 754 on YouTube, and another 1 million fans over on Facebook at the time of this recording. Pink and green, Damn. oh so clean, just like Listerine, yeah. hit the scene, Damn. they know it's me, might just pull up, yeah. Before Roy would get shout outs from world star hip hop, Lad Bible, Complex, Chris Brown, Kodak Black, and more. Before Roy Purdy would go viral on Facebook, clocking in 30 million views with his mannequin head dance, 30 million views with his Roy Purdy running man challenge, and another 20 million views on his In New York, I'm Millie Rock. The dude is only 19 years old and he's already bought himself a house in LA. Not bad for a college dropout. With a love for skateboarding and making music, Roy began fostering the idea of becoming both a skateboarder and a performer. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't totally understand what the hell it is that Roy is doing, but uh, whatever it is, the internet loves this kid and his crazy sunglasses. He's blowing up on multiple platforms and his plan is to take over Hollywood. What's up you guys, my name's Roy Purdy and this is my Before They Were Famous video. Yeah, that's right, Roy took the time to help us out with this video. Which is really nice. What's going on guys? My name is Mike McCredden, documenting the life and career of Roy Purdy prior to fame, here for you on Before They're Famous. Now Roy and me actually connected over Instagram. He was up at three in the morning, answering all of my questions. Now I got no idea how that dude could stay up so late and still get on camera each day dancing like a lunatic. He also gave me some exclusive news about an upcoming tour. More on that in this video. Let me know who you want me to document next. Now let's get into this Before They're Famous video. Boom! Roy Purdy was born on February 25th, 1998 in Appleton, Wisconsin to Brenda and Tom Purdy. His father owns some restaurants and his mother, she works in real estate. Hi, Roy. That was a clip from Roy's music video when we were just kids, which actually includes a ton of video footage from his childhood. Roy is a middle child of three boys. He's got an older brother, Bruce, who is in university, and a younger brother, George, who today films all of Roy's videos. Growing up in Appleton, Wisconsin, population 75 thou, life was pretty slow. The small town is comprised of mostly suburbs and farms, but with not much to do, it gave Roy all the time in the world to focus on his interests. An early obsession for Roy was skateboarding, he said. I've always been into skateboarding. That's my favorite hobby. I've been skateboarding since I was five years old. My grandma got me a cheap skateboard with plastic trucks from Walmart. I learned how to ride by practicing rolling down the driveway at my house. The next passion he would discover at the age of 10 was music. His parents were very supportive of his interest in the arts and started off by getting him some piano lessons, which helped set him up with a strong understanding of how to create music. By the age of 12, he had formed a rock band with his friends, where Roy was on the piano, singing, and also throwing in a little harmonica. The group specialized mainly in 80s rock covers. What? Rock covers. I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to boast, but I've trained karate from coast to coast. Karate. Train your body. This brings us to Roy's third lifelong obsession, the 80s, or at least 80s fashion. The news always loved wearing bright 80s windbreakers and weird clothes that he finds in thrift stores. And of course, there is his pink and green sunglasses, which have become an iconic part of his brand. Well, Roy said he's been dressing this way his entire life. It's kind of crazy how little I've changed throughout the years. I've always worn bright colors, been the class clown, stood out, and been over the top and outgoing. I was that one really happy, energetic kid that got along with everybody in school. His favorite TV show was Robin Big, with him idolizing Rob Deirdrick, a pro skater who parlayed his notoriety in the skate industry into becoming an entertainer. When school got out, Roy would head to the skate park with his closest pals, and in his spare time, he would practice with his band. It was when he was 13 he began to switch things up. He traded his piano lessons to start learning the guitar, and instead of singing, he decided to become a rapper. In poetry class in eighth grade, I asked my teacher if I could write rap songs instead of poems and she let me do it. I wrote a full song in poetry class and performed it on stage in front of my whole middle school and middle school staff at the end of the year during graduation. By the time I entered high school, I was already writing rap songs and performing live shows with my band. By high school, Roy was becoming less interested in performing covers and more interested in putting his own work out into the world. 
While attending skateboard camp, he recorded his first rap song, Skate Rhyme, and then decided to shoot a video. It's pretty good. Cruising through the street on a summer day, nothing but the sound of my wheels on the concrete. Sun in my face, feet resting on the grip tape. Calm it down so you could say that this is my way to meditate. By now, Roy had an itch that he couldn't help but scratch. By junior year, he invested in a cheap microphone and started recording songs using GarageBand on his laptop. In his senior year, he made an entire mixtape titled Peanut Butter Banana Sandwich Volume 1, which he handed out to everyone at his school and made more music videos. Like a bunch of them. You really gotta hand it to this kid for his persistence. His music wouldn't exactly launch his career, not at first. It was in October of 2015 that he had his first big viral video, which was him handing out random stuff to trick or treaters on Halloween. He had posted the video to his Facebook page that had about like 500 likes, and then when he woke up the next day, it had 3 million views, and he had 20,000 likes on his Facebook page. Trick or treat! Cup of water for you, and some vegetables for you. Happy Halloween! His reaction, he said, I was stoked. I've been making videos and music for years, but never got any followers. So it was a new feeling for me. It took a few months before Roy would find viral success again, but it came off a simple video where he just jumped into a trash can. One of my faves. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> that video got 11 million views on Vine and another 2.7 million on Facebook. Then he followed it up two weeks later with the Roy Purdy Running Man Challenge, which got him 30 million views on Facebook. video blew up on all the social media accounts. He went from 2,000 followers on Instagram to 25,000 off that video alone. As high school was coming to an end, he knew what he wanted to do, make music and become an entertainer, but he had a hard time convincing his parents who wanted him to go to a traditional university. While they debated over all this, Roy recorded his first graduation from high school and again, he was able to turn that into a viral video. Roy Purdy. Oh! Pipe it up. Pipe it up. Pipe it up. Pipe it up. Nigga, we made it. With a growing fan base online and the status of a local legend, Roy still listened to his folks and attended the University of Boulder, Colorado, studying film. For the first time ever, Roy had lost some of his fearlessness and took a break from recording songs. He stated, I didn't feel comfortable recording music in my dorm room, I just felt weird. Over the Christmas break, Roy knew that school was only holding him back from him reaching his goals, but still his parents wanted him to think more practical, like how people thought back in the 80s. However, by the time he finished his first year, he knew he wasn't going to go back to school. He spent that summer pumping out new videos and found success again with his song and the video for Mannequin Head Dance. That clocked in another 30 million views on Facebook and did well on YouTube and all the rest of his socials. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, corn, corn, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rabbit. You name the kid's got a ton of other bangers, and by now he had developed new role models looking up to creators like Donald Glover and Tyler the Creator. Roy doesn't plan on fitting into one box, he wants to do it all. He wants to make music, he's gonna make videos for all platforms, he wants to start writing his own films and get into acting. Now Roy told me, my future plans are to amp up the quality on my videos and drop a lot more music videos in 2018. And then summer spring of 2018, I will be going on tour. That's actually an exclusive he told me first. He's well on his way to massive success having already moved to LA and his audience is blowing up. A couple weeks ago he surpassed 1 million followers on Instagram and he's now approaching 1.3 million. Which is pretty hard to do when you ain't one of them girls with all your boobs out. And your butt. Right? Oh shit. <laughs> his music career is also doing well. Roy's recent song, Pink and Green, already has over 1.6 million views. As for Roy's parents, well now that they're seeing him pulling some bank and his trajectory is really taken off, they're giving him his full support. Their full support. As for the rest of the story, well we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCred and we make all sorts of bios here for you on this channel. We have an entire playlist dedicated to YouTubers. So what are you waiting for? Click on that. See you guys in another video. Let me know who you want me to document next. 
Find Roy Purdy on Instagram if you haven't already, and you can even add little old me. Bye. Pretty on the track, but you back with the raps. Cash when I stack, got cheese like Mac.